Hello everybody, welcome to Weigh In Time. I am Patrick, it is the Sunday Weigh In, so drop your gains, your losses, your tips, your tricks into the comment section below. And of course, drink some water. This is your water reminder. Last Sunday, I set you all a challenge and basically the challenge could be to do whatever you want but make sure you stick to it for a week now that could be in my case it was walk uh, 10,000 uh, steps at least three times a week um, but i had loads of messages of people who said they were going to do it whether or not they were going to drink more water uh, count their calories more um, most of the time it was either water walking or a few other bits and bobs. So thank you all so much for joining me on that challenge. And I want to know how you did. Now, bearing in mind, maybe you watched the video yesterday or a couple of days ago, you haven't quite uh, made it to the week yet. That's fine, absolutely keep going. If you did it last week, I want you to tell me how you got on. How are you getting on with that challenge that you set yourself? So for me personally, I managed to do 10,000 steps for three days with an asterisk. I did, I thought I did 10,000 steps one of those days, but I didn't. I did 9,920 and I woke up the next day and I checked and I was like, oh, so I managed, I'm gonna say I did it because you know there are times where I'm not wearing my watch and stuff like that. So I probably did it, hopefully. So I'm pretty happy with myself and I definitely feel a lot better. Now, the object of this uh, this kind of uh, episode is I told you last week that I lost seven pounds in a week. And what I want to do is basically tell you what I ate that week. And also I did something different as well. So I want to tell you what that is. Before I tell you into what I did, which is different, and I'm continuing to do it as well. Um, and it's something which I've never tried before, but it seems to be working very well. And it definitely did last week. I'm going to tell you what I ate in that week to lose seven pounds uh, for the week. So uh, starting on, well, I thought maybe I started on the 1st of January, but I didn't because on my fitness pal, there is nothing for the 1st of January. And it's a little probably because um, I might have possibly been a little bit worse for wear uh, on the 1st of January, so I didn't actually uh, try it. So um, a lot of the times what I'm having currently uh, for lunch, and it was the same when I started it, um, I had a, a ham sandwich. That was my lunch because I don't normally eat breakfast. Uh, so I had a ham sandwich. I had um, Asda's kind of like cooked ham wafer thin uh, with uh, some wholemeal bread, two slices, uh, a little bit of butter. Uh, for me, I use... Um, the olive oil spread from Asda, not Batoli, because that's expensive. Uh, so I had that and mustard. And then what I normally do with that, um, this time, I don't think I did actually, but normally I will have a bag of crisps to go with it, uh, whether or not those be um, snack jacks, you know, those like kind of little um, rice cakes, or I will have um, some sun bites, something like that. Something which is baked crisps, so not like walkers or anything like that. So that's what I had for lunch on that day. Um, I also had uh, some small oranges. I've probably had about four of those because I normally do. And also I had a Relentless, but I had a Relentless original. So that was 86 calories. If you don't know what Relentless is, it is an energy drink. And I know they're bad for me. I know. I know you can pop it in the messages if you want, but I already am aware energy drinks are bad. Um, and then also for lunch, I had a, a soft center fiber bar from Bakeville, which I believe is the Asda, no, sorry, not Asda, the Aldi one, I wanna say, um, but that was actually delicious. So I don't know um, if you have them, but they have like a birthday cake one. So that was the soft center fiber bar from either, oh, I can't talk today, Aldi or Lidl. It was one of those two. And then for dinner, I had uh, mashed potato. Um, I had uh, gravy, so it was gravy granules. And then I had um, sausages as well, thin Richmond sausages. So that's what I had for dinner. And then for dessert, I had another fiber bar from um, Aldi. I had a high protein pudding 
uh, which is uh, from Lidl. They are amazing. I've um, shown them on my Instagram before. They're 160 calories, but they have got 20 grams of protein and they are honestly delicious. And what I normally do with that is I will normally put some raisins on it as well, just to kind of bring up the fiber a little bit and just to give it a little bit more substance. So that was kind of what I had for lunch and dinner. Um, I actually went sort of over my calories for that day. So I had 2,130 nine calories but seems to have worked because obviously I lost seven pounds the next day um, I had a protein bar from Lidl uh, so that was uh, one part of my lunch so uh, that was the cookies and cream one they're okay 17 uh, I think it's like 15 grams of protein or something like that in each of the cookies and cream protein bars uh, and it was 169 calories um, and I also had some bread uh, I must have just had two pieces. Oh no, there we go. I had two pieces of wholemeal bread and then I had a tin of spaghetti and sausages by Heinz. That's what I had for lunch. Um, and then for dinner, I had jacket potatoes with beans and cheese. There you go, that was pretty simple. Um, I also had one strawberry and lime cider, which was Copperberg, one of those bottles, so I had that. Uh, my food actually only totaled 1,275 calories, which was pretty good. Um, Thursday, the 5th of January, so um, again for lunch, I had the Snacker Jacks, but it was the sour cream and chive. I had two wholemeal slices of bread, um, I had a ham, so I had a ham sandwich again, and then I had two of the Skinny Dream bars. Uh, so these were available in Aldi, and I think Tesco as well, uh, sorry, Asda I should say, and I think Tesco as well. So I had the, uh, the chocolate toffee one and the Rocky Road one. Now, the chocolate toffee one, is delicious but it is 93 calories for that one it's so tasty though and to be honest also the rocky road one as well that is absolutely delicious that's 70 calories i think they're like six bars for a pound uh, really really great now for dinner this e uh, that evening i had broccoli and stilton uh, soup so that was my dinner it was cross and blackwell and i got that in asda um, i actually had two tins of that so um, i really wanted to have a nice sustainable um, meal so uh, that was around 400 calories uh, I had a whole punnet of grapes uh, because I can't just they're like Pringles for me I can't just stop at one grape I have to have the whole punnet so I had the whole punnet and I also had some bread as well so I had three slices of wholemeal bread so that was six slices of bread on that day quite a lot for me. Um, Skinny Dream uh, Choc Toffee Bar again, and then I had another one of the um, high protein puddings, caramel flavor. Uh, now, again, went over my uh, calorie um, amount, which normally is around about 1900, 2000, something like that, and I did 2,292 calories that day. Uh, the next day I had a, a relentless energy drink again. I have changed those now to sugar-free ones when I do have them. So I've had them to like Monster Zero and stuff. I do like a good relentless original. Other energy drinks are available. Um, I had a chocolate pudding. Um, this was the one from Lidl. So not the caramel, I had the chocolate. That to be fair is a really sort of nice lunch on its own. And then I had a uh, one of my makeshift pizzas. So I get a wrap, I get some uh, tomato puree, um, and basically I will put some cooked frozen chicken on it, some spinach on it, and then I'll stick it into the air fryer and I'll have like a little kind of calzone pizza thing made out of a wrap, which is really tasty. It works out for, um, I had two of them in this case, so it works out about 500 calories uh, for two of them and lots of protein there as well because uh, of the chicken. Uh, for dinner that evening, um, I had uh, one jack of potato um, and I also had some homemade chili as well. Uh, I absolutely love homemade chili and it's something which I will normally do. I'll make a Slimming World Bolognese and then the next day I'll turn that into a uh, like a chili. It's very easy to do. It's just chili spices um, and one cube of dark 
chocolate. Now I didn't use that because I didn't have any, but let me know in the comment section below if you use the one cube of dark chocolate if you're making chili. Apologies for looking down because I'm looking at my phone. Um, and then I had a, a Muller Light cherry yogurt for dessert as well. So that was uh, my day ended on 1,270 calories. So one thing which I'll know in, um, in these sort of days, sometimes I'll do 1,200 calories and two days I did around um, 2,200. So it evens itself out throughout the week. So obviously it's really important to focus. Like if I was having 12, 2,200 calories for me personally, that would be too much. But because I evened it out throughout the week, so one week, one day I would have 2,200, the next day I'd have 1,200. Didn't do that on purpose, but I do always have the amount of calories that I have in my head at any one time. At that point, I did 871 calories worth of exercise as well, which I haven't taken into account. Um, next day, then for dinner, I had uh, the bolognese. So I did it the other way around this time. Uh, so I had made the bolognese. I uh, made half of it into chili, half of it into bolognese. Now that is, for me, the biggest thing about doing calorie counting over Slimming World. Pasta. So... If I'm going to have pasta, I need to have a very light lunch in order to actually do it. Because if I don't have a light lunch, then I'm going to have that issue of uh, a massive amount of calories for pasta at the end of the day. So I had um, my uh, mints. So I had obviously my mints and then the veg and speed food and loads of stuff like that with the uh, Slimming World bolognese. Uh, and of course I had pasta. So the pasta alone was like 600 calories um, for, and that is less than I had when I was having um, spaghetti bolognese with Slimming World as well, because of course it is free on Slimming World. Um, I also had uh, a few glasses of port, uh, two glasses of port, how middle class of me. I had some left over from Christmas, so I decided to treat myself and have a couple of glasses of port. And then I also had, I showed it to you last week, the uh, bottle green uh, cordial, the winter spice. So I had uh, that afterwards as well um, and that came to 30 calories because it is not sugar free and then for dessert I had oranges I also had a salted caramel bar from skinny dream and I had another high protein caramel pudding as well from Lidl only because they're not very high in calories 160 plus they've got 20 grams of protein and to be honest they're delicious I absolutely love them so that was the Saturday and then I weighed in then on this Sunday um, so that was kind of what I had for the week oh I didn't tell you so that was 1934 five calories so if we take into account the days that I did um, go over my calories I went over by about three or four hundred calories but then the days that I didn't go over I was under by about 400 calories so overall throughout the week I landed on around about 1850 calories however what did I do differently about this week than I did previous weeks and that goes to the fact that I didn't have breakfast. Now, to be fair, I don't normally have breakfast. However, I have now started doing fasting. So I'm doing intermittent fasting. So what I will do is when I stop eating at say, um, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, something like that, I won't eat then for 16 hours. So it's 16, eight, fasting and that's what I've started doing for the last uh, that week and this week so I'm two weeks in uh, they say to give it around about three weeks or so four weeks of uh, testing to you know see results from there so um, I have basically I'm not really sticking to a specific time normally I will eat around about 12 um, and then I'll stop eating around about seven but that can vary depending on the day like if I wake up really hungry then I will alter my fasting and I am keeping track of that via my fitness pal because it does have a fasting section as well so you can set up the fast so what I can do is uh, right now I have 
uh, already had a ham sandwich. I'm very dull when it comes to food. That's what I had again today, and a pudding. I am literally so dull when it comes to food. Um, but uh, I had that already, so I stopped the timer on my fast, and now that means that I can eat up until 8.30 tonight because I didn't break my fast until half past 12. It's really good because it allows me to eat when I'm hungry. So a lot of the times I'll wait, I'll wait, you know, I'll be like, oh, okay, it's 10 o'clock. I'll just have something because it's 10 o'clock. I didn't really need it, but I ate it. But with intermittent fasting, I know that unless I'm absolutely ravenous and absolutely cannot continue without food, I'll know well, actually I'll just wait until 12.30. And your hunger actually starts to subside. So that's what I did differently um, when it came to the week I lost seven pounds uh, than, uh, than the weeks previous to that. And of course it was just after Christmas as well. Now I weighed myself this morning no, sorry, I weighed myself yesterday morning. Now, I didn't weigh myself this morning because yesterday I did intense exercise. So I did a bleep test yesterday and lots of other uh, sort of cardio and aerobic exercise yesterday. So I don't weigh myself, and this is kind of a recommendation uh, which I would say to you, don't weigh yourself the next day after exercise. I would give it a couple of days because your body is actually going to show you that you are um, heavier because your body has built up water retention to protect the muscles when they've broken and stuff like that due to exercise. So I will not weigh myself now probably until Tuesday morning. In fact, I'll weigh myself Wednesday when I next do a video. So that was it. I hope uh, you've enjoyed that. If you'd like more videos like this, then let me know in the comment section below. I promise I'm going to get a little bit more adventurous with food. So make sure you subscribe to me uh, on uh, obviously YouTube. Um, and so hit that little subscribe button and the bell icon and also Instagram at Way and Time YouTube and I will show you some more of the hopefully more exciting things. Now I've watched or listened to myself talk I'm like I'm really dull when it comes to food I need to spice it up a little bit. Uh, let me know if you've got any meal recipes for me. Also let me know what your challenge is in the comment section below and tell me how you did last week. Whatever time of day you're watching this have an amazing morning afternoon or evening. I'll catch you next time on another Way in 10. I'll see you soon. Bye.